Yeah, today we're about to teach you how to swag out your wheelies, bro. What is up? It's your boy Nas, AK Motor Pro. We're on the beautiful DRZ 400 with my Volta graphics kit, beauty. But today we're going to give you guys all the tips and tricks on how to do a proper wheelie. We're going to teach you how to, you know, go all the way back to 12 o'clock. I'm going to be giving you guys tips that people don't really talk about, like body form and things like that. So let's shred for a second, get to the spot, and I'm going to teach you guys all these tricks. Yeah, we're buying a school bus. Oh, they're letting me buy. Thank you. Here we are at the beautiful MB lot. Let's shred around for a second and vibe out. Y'all know the vibes. Woo! Yeah, today we're about to teach you how to swag out your wheelies, bro. Let's go! So first, let's start off with your body, bro. How do you want your body when you're in a wheelie? So it's pretty much very similar to like how you ride your bike normal, except you're gonna be like that, but up in the air, watch. So I'll pull her up. Like my body's almost, I'm leaning a little bit back, a little bit farther back than I usually would when I'm like just normally riding on the bike. But you'll see a very important thing to notice. When I bring the bike up to 12, watch my upper body. It sort of moves up forward. You see? So let me show you guys again. This is really for helping you control your coasters. It's all in that body position when you're in that 12 o'clock position. So I'm going to clutch up, bring it up. And look, you see I'm leaning forward? And when the bike goes down, I sort of lean a little bit back again. When it goes all the way forward, I'm bringing my body for forward. What? I messed that up. When the bike goes all the way back, I'm bringing my body forward. That's what I meant to say. It's a little hard, like, talking and riding and doing this all at the same time. So give me a little break if it uh, sounds a little confusing. But I'm going to try to dial it in for you guys. But doing what I just showed you is really going to help you coast your wheelies. It's going to put you in the balance point and the bike in the balance point. So you really, you're just barely tapping the brake and you're just coastering along. Let's see how long I can hit a coaster for. Coasting. Coasting. So I'm telling you, just practicing doing that body motion is going to help you 100,000%. So guys, the second tip is clutch control. As you guys know, clutch is very important for wheelies, especially on like a DRZ or something where it's hard to just power wheel it. You gotta clutch up, which if you don't know what that is, um, it's pretty much you just pull the clutch in, give it gas. While you're revving it, you let go of the clutch, watch. You see how it pops up? So that's how to pop up the wheelie. But what I'm talking about is clutch control. So the clutch can be very important with going slow in wheelies. So watch, I'm gonna be in first gear. I popped in the second actually. Right now I'm holding in the clutch. So you see how slow it lets me coast. Woo! Like I'm coasting so slow right now. So I'm pulling the clutch in and I let go of the clutch, give it some gas right at the end, which is very important. Ah! <laughs> if you don't pull in the clutch and you're going that slow in a wheelie, it will like to stall. See that? Ah! It's just really hard. It wants the bike wants to stall and it's just hard to control. Like when you pull in that clutch when you're coasting, look how much easier it is just to keep the bike centered, going where you want it to go. You see how slow I'm going? I'm in second gear right now. Pull in the clutch, let go. Pull in the clutch, let go. Pull in the clutch, let go. So it really helps and then watch. I can slow it down, pull in the clutch tap in the rear brake of course so I'm gonna loop and look we slow down again that's why having that clutch control is so important on just being swaggy and keeping that wheelie in control at low speeds at high speeds you don't really use the clutch too much but at low speeds that clutch control is so important man 
everyone loves to learn combos bro like they look dope and you're like yo how do i get comfortable learning combos without getting hurt so i'm going to teach you the way i learned how to do the combos so you put your bike on the kickstand and you literally you pretend like you're doing a wheelie almost while you're riding and keep that remember keep that throttle hand like you're actually doing a wheelie and sort of practice it the motions practice the motions while the bike's on the kickstand while still like having pressure on your, your throttle because a lot of people they'll do this like the motion which is nice because you'll know the motion but the most important part is that throttle control while you're doing all the combos on your bike so you got to remember pretending like you're riding and actually holding the wheelie with the throttle that really helped me so like i'll be like uh, and look like the whole time i'm sort of messing with the throttle putting it where i think it would be and then boom hop to seat stand and then you could get all the motions hop to knee knocker you can go all the way over like this go hop back while always keeping your hand on the throttle with the throttle turned the next step from when you're on your kickstand is you can sort of do it while you're riding be careful because you might get squirrely and wreck your bike just doing this but you can sort of feel how to keep the bike balanced straight while doing your combos which is important because you want your bike straight when you're doing the combos in the wheelie so while you're riding and it gives you that throttle control keep your throttle steady sort of you know move around hop around vibe out go a little seat stander and i'm telling you bro it will help so much into perfecting your combos all right let's talk about rear brake control because i know a lot of riders who are new they're sort of like yo how the hell are you wheeling i even thought this i was like bro how do you keep the wheel up forever like it doesn't make sense and the thing is you're always sort of feathering your brake like there's some points where you smash it a little harder if you're like way far back 12 and you think you're about to loop or something but for the most part when you're in that wheelie you're just feathering it on and off bro i'm gonna see if i can show you guys with my foot like right now i'm holding constant pressure i let go but feathering it not hard pressure at all watch pressure pressure but just feathering it because watch if i push it hard you see you see what happens when you push it hard it just wants to slam down so it's really good to get that mind to foot control which is takes a while to be honest but you really want to be able to go very light increments with your foot on the brake so like you're barely pushing it you're barely pushing it down and it takes a minute bro when i first was trying to learn the rear brake i was like this i'll pull up i'll be like oh bring it down which a lot of you guys are probably doing too but it's just because you're pushing it too hard if you push it a little less watch i'm pushing it barely a little harder right there because i was going a little farther back but i'm barely pushing it barely pushing it so figuring out that rear brake control and like how much pressure to give it is so important for these wheelies to keep them up forever and you know not be doing crazy wheelies and slamming it down which gets sketchy because you get speed wobble and it just it is not good all right tip number five i think this is the last tip i might throw one more in here is when you're doing your wheel skis and you're bringing it down and you're going fast always try to give it some throttle so what i mean is you're in a wheelie you're cruising you're in your wheelie yeah let's go you're going pretty fast and you're like oh i need to bring it down gas it gas it while you're bringing it down and that will help so much from not getting speed wobble and just being able to control the bike and you know you don't get any icky situations because if you go like this and you bring it down quick you can get speed wobbles and it's just not fun and you might crash and it's not good <laughs> i'm telling you so literally when you're bringing the wheel down watch i'll give it some gas just that little bit just that little bit of gas when it's coming down it will help so much from being able to control the bike when it's from wheelie into two wheels i don't know if that made any sense but like i was saying 
it will make it so much smoother bro so i'm gonna do it without it this is without boom you see how hard of an impact that is and when you're going 60 70 80 especially on a sport bike that impact can cause you to freaking speed wobble so bring it up and you're like okay let me do a power wheelie all right i'm in fifth gear i'm going fast right now pretty fast watch when i bring it down i give it that extra little gas and it's such an important tip and will help you so much in so many different instances so my last tip number six i'm gonna give it we're doing an extra little tip today is don't hesitate so this comes with a lot of experience of riding but you cannot hesitate in certain situations even i have messed up and it still will happen to me to this day is i'll hesitate sometimes and i'm telling you it's always worse to hesitate than just to do it for the most part so like i'm saying let's say a car is crossing into your lane or something um if you hesitate or whatever you're giving it gas you're like oh crap what do i do and then boom you hit the car so you always got to be like okay a car's coming all right brake turn turn to the left look you always got to be on your toes i don't know if i'm explaining this correctly or if you guys understand it but you try not to hesitate when you're riding because in certain situations if there's like a car coming you're like oh crap what do i do and this has happened to me bro when i got in my crash i was like this as i was out of focus i wasn't even really paying attention a car came into the picture i was like oh crap what do i do and i just slammed my brakes and flipped into the car but now thinking back if like i was more dialed in and focused on my riding i really think i could have swerved out the way pretty easy i could have been like i was going this fast let's see i was going around 34. i could have been and you know gone to the side something where i didn't have a direct impact so always stay focused and try not to hesitate while riding but those are my six tips should we swag up this real quick i think so i think so today's video these tips and tricks i really hope they help you out in your wheel skis um, if they do send me some videos of you shredding i would love to see it or just in the comments message me stay motivated merch in the description down below i freaking love you until next